I wind up using Mathematic for lots of things people might not use it for. It's my first choice for doing a whole lot of things that involve a certain amount of mathematics and a certain amount of programming. I'm the principal author of a, a big new cookbook called Modernist Cuisine, which is a six-volume, 2,400-page encyclopedic treatment of how cooking works, the science behind cooking, and modern cooking techniques inspired by that science. I wrote many thousands of lines and gigabytes worth of uh, Mathematica notebooks and uh, output to create the book. You know, the idea behind the cookbook is that there's a lot of science to how cooking works. I think it's really important to chefs to understand that. So the first mission of the book is to say, let's explain, for example, how heat conduction works. And people's intuition as to how heat conduction works is not always correct. The second is that there are a whole set of modern cooking techniques that have been developed in the last five years, and a few cases going back even longer, that involve things like cooking with liquid nitrogen, uh, something called sous vide cooking, where you seal food up in plastic bags and cook it in water baths at low temperature. There are new ingredients, uh, new kinds of gelling agents that make gels that are very different properties than conventional gelatin. This set of techniques has never been really explained in a big comprehensive book that has how-to illustrations and sort of step-by-step -step instructions for how to do it. We think the two go very well together. We use Mathematica for many tasks in the cookbook. It's probably the first cookbook in the world that can say that. One of the principal tasks we used Mathematica for was modeling heat transfer in food. Of course, much of cooking is about applying heat to food, and modeling heat conduction and heat convection and the radiation of heat are all things that are super important to understand when cooking. And we use Mathematica to give quantitative answers to a lot of cooking questions. Suppose you've got a barbecue grill. As you move food farther and farther away from the fire, the intensity at which the heat hits the food is going to go down. I made a graph that showed how heat falls off as you move away from this grill, including both the intensity and how even it was. And it took a lot of experimentation to figure out what the right way to visualize that was. And I was able to do it in Mathematica. If I had wanted a canned picture, a canned kind of chart that was the kind of chart everyone had always made before, I could have used lots of software to do it. Here, I was trying to figure out how to create a graph. I didn't really know what I wanted, had in mind initially. I just knew I wanted to show this thing, and it had a couple of interesting aspects to it. And eventually, I figured out a way to do it with Mathematica, where the, the power of doing graphics in Mathematica was essential to it. An example of something that we discovered with Mathematica that is, in retrospect, makes sense, but is shocking to people when we tell them is that there's a common practice when people are cooking certain foods to plunge them in ice water to stop the cooking. We discovered that, in fact, plunging something into ice water does not stop the cooking in any way, shape, or form. And we first discovered this by running Mathematica simulations of what happens if I take something that's hot and I put it into a ice bath, and it turns out there's almost no variation in the actual temperature between putting it in the ice bath and, say, leaving it out on the counter or simply taking it off the stove. There's no package, no, no software pr program that has the breadth of things that Mathematica does. The fact that I used Mathematica for the cookbook I think is very cool. I certainly could have written a cookbook without Mathematica. In fact, essentially every other cookbook author in history has written one without that. But having the ability to create great, compelling graphics and really interesting scientific and effectively engineering results about food is something that adds something to the cookbook. I thought using Mathematica was a terrific part of it and was thrilled to do it.